What up, YouTube? So, I'm currently teaching this girl how to walk better on a leash while I'm getting my steps in with this weight loss journey I'm on. I put her on a, people call it a choke chain or a, I don't know. That's what the only terminology I know of it. <laughs> a choke chain. I know there's another word for it, another name for it, but um, I was thinking maybe the the choke chain was gonna help her with uh, walking better. It, I know how to use it, so it's working. But I don't think I really care for the choke chain for her, anyways. But I'm getting these walk, this walk in, and we practicing proper walking with the leash for this girl because y'all yeah, know I train off leash first when it comes to my puppies, and she's doing good with off leash, so we're doing the on leash now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I like the chop chain, y'all. Uh. I went on my morning walk with my brother, but I didn't record that shit. <laughs> so, again, I had to walk my puppy, so it's like I'll record our walk. So that's two walks in today. I am currently fasting. It's 6.30 in the afternoon. I just been drinking water all day. Um, I can tell you I feel a little, a little weak because my body is so used to eating. Whenever I'm hungry, I eat. <laughs> And I'm not really starving, but I still feel <coughs> that my body doesn't have food in it. So I feel a little tired, weak. My curl pink lily. We don't do like a I think it's like a mile walk. I have the stepper thing, the stepping app, the walking app on my phone, but I be forgetting to turn it on when I start walking. Come on. <clears throat> this girl is still a little skittish. I slowed down with taking her outside, but I'm about to be back on it. It's only been like two weeks, but you know, you gotta keep at training puppies or they'll forget all the training you gave them. <laughs> you gotta keep at it. She is currently four and a half months old. So I think, I feel like I'm right on track with the trainer when it comes to building her confidence. She does jump at a lot of things, but uh, it's nothing that I can't fix in the long run. Definitely, definitely gonna get at it before she becomes an adult. I decided to put more weight on her also. I know she's supposed to be, uh, cause bullies, they, they're n normally thick dogs. I don't want her to be like a fat puppy, but I think I need to put a little bit more weight on her. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna start her on a raw meat diet. 
give her a lot of protein and a lot of calcium. Omega 3s, a lot of that good stuff for dogs. Right now she is currently on kibble. Kibble is kibble to me. <laughs> so if I tell you she eat puppy chow, in my opinion, it's the same thing as Victor. Like, yes, Victor might have a little bit more nutrients, but it's still processed food. <laughs> it all, it's all still processed food. Same thing, if you ask me. Same exact thing. <laughs> but we're currently on this walk. This is the way I take my daughter when we go bike riding. This is the direction we walk or we ride the bikes. But I'm walking Pink Lily over this way now. Yeah. I was thinking, I walk her a lot. So I was thinking like, I can't be feeding her enough because she's a little bit too small for my, in my opinion. She's about to be five months old and she's still very short. Very short girl. People keep saying that she might be a standard. <laughs> But she's no bigger than a three month old dog. <laughs> and she's about to be five months. You gotta see her in person to really see how small she is. I do want a standard female though. I'm not in a rush to get one. I wanna wait until she's older. Um, I did used to breed pocket and a uh, micro bullies but I think I'm gonna switch it to if I start back I'm gonna switch it to pocket and standard instead of micro I'm leaving the real short bullies alone pocket and standard <laughs> I'm really going to focus on the standard if I do decide to start back breeding Girl. So far she's a good walking walking buddy. Uh at four four and a half months old, she has no breathing problems. I know she's still young and shit, so it might take some time to really be able to tell if she'll be able to hang with me in the long run, but so far so good. No breathing problems at all. I know if I would have brung her mother out, she'd probably be breathing all heavy right now. Sounding like a pig and shit. <laughs> and again, she's a good show dog. But when I want a dog that's going to work out with me, she she's just not up to part with that. She She's not the kind of dog that's going to, that's good for working out, especially in heat. So I brought her to my pocket male, which was slightly taller. He had a longer muzzle. So my goal with that was to help with the breathing because she's already clean. She had a clean bite, nice fronts, short back, nice and wide. And he was basically the same short back clean feet nice bite he had a better bite than she did so I knew he was going to clean up the bite and stuff and also help with the breathing and that was my main goal with breeding him to her was the breathing I wanted better dogs that can breathe better but still look the part to being a show quality dog so I think I accomplished that with this litter again she she's 
more on the swimmer side because I got her outside and then the son walking with me and stuff and I don't a fat dog is not going to survive in this heat <laughs> so she's under not underweight but she's more on the swimmer side I did decide to uh, put more weight on her to make her body look more fuller just a tad bit more weight I'm gonna let these people go. This they they're too close to me. All right, we're currently pumping this hill right now and making our way back around to the house. This was like a quick mile walk, probably a little bit longer than a mile, but estimating it is a mile. And I'm feeling good for the grand. Feeling great. <laughs> Look at the Scooby Doo van. Who's a Scooby Doo van? This girl likes to walk behind me still. I don't know why she just decided that. I'm gonna stay walking behind her. <laughs> Even with the leash on, she walks behind me. So I'm constantly correcting her to either pick up her pace or stay beside me or something. Come here. Now she wanna get in front. It's not gonna last long though. Look. These bugs is eating me up. <laughs> All right, this is loose leaf trainer. The leash is just mad loose. I don't want her pulling me. It gotta stay slack. If it's not slack, that means that I gotta correct her some way, somehow. But so far, so good. Yeah. This fucking bump came right back, huh? Maybe because I just got off my period. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all didn't need to know that. That shit just came right back. So I'm here. <laughs> Uh, I have been weighing myself in so long. So the last time I weighed myself was about <clears throat> six months ago. Yeah, like six months ago. I had a scale in my house, but ask me where that shit is now. I don't know. Let's fix this leg. So my last checkup for my doctor they weighed me and that was the last time I had got weighed and I, uh, I just know I lost weight but I know that how I really tell is when this really goes <laughs> this is what I be checking for that fucking extra meat under but yeah so far, so good with the staying active. I can't lie, life be lifing out here in these streets. So sometimes I lose that determination, that motivation, but it always come back. Huh. She stayed behind me, yo. Normally that would be okay with me, with her staying behind me. But, 
that's just telling me that she still has fear in her. Because, in my opinion, a confident dog is a dog that's going to be in front. Not necessarily pulling you, but confident enough to take the lead, in a sense. She's doing good with the loose leaf, loose leash walking though. <clears throat> I had my um boy cash walking good on a leash also but again I switched to her keeping her and I started focusing on her because I need a well-behaved dog in my house but it's not looking like anybody is trying to take cash so I'm gonna start back with training him as well uh, he's a little rambunctious when it comes to the leash so I'm definitely gonna work on that with him he can make me frustrated. <laughs> That's why I like to train as early as possible. Because they, they tend to listen better when they're really young. So I know I need to nip that in the bud right now and not wait any later. Even if I do sell them, they're going to have a well-behaved dog. <laughs> oh. Did you not see me? And you looking back here, you see me. Fucking ass. Fucking asshole people, yo. Why I always gotta beat them in a bump into assholes? Got stopped by a Jehovah's Witness or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> she did so good off the leash. I took the leash off her. Let her roam around for you. Come. Come. The only dog I have that don't walk in front of me. Good girl. Down. She always go behind me, yo. I can never record really good with her. Because she do not know how to stay in front of me. I mean, it's a good and bad thing. <laughs> but I took the bell off of her because usually I would have a bell on her so I could hear her coming. But now I have to look behind me in order to fucking know she's there. Thomas. Come on. All right, y'all. I just wanted to talk y'all head off while I did my little walk. Please like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for when I post more videos. Much love.